By popular demand, I will cover page object model. Page object model is a design pattern that's used as a component in our automation framework. I'm going to show you how I create a page object model step-by-step step from scratch. Right now, I release videos three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In the future, I plan to start releasing videos five times a week. If you're interested, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell icon. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. After this video, I'm going to place the transcript and the presentation on GitHub. Page object model allows us to represent the behavior of our application and only update our code in one place. In this introduction, I will speak about what is a page object model, why page object models are important, and the benefits of a page object model. After the intro, I will demo how to create a page object model. Then we are going to create our first test using the page object model. Introduction. What is a page object model? A page object model is a popular design pattern with classes that represent each page of an application. In some cases, it will be the entire page and other cases, it will be part of a page. The purpose of a page object model is to serve as a pattern for the application we are testing. Our elements and interactions are stored separate from the test script. Each web page or a section of a web page is represented by a page object. In this example, we see the web pages or login page and home page. Both pages have their own page object called login page and home page. The page object is a class, and within that class, we have class members. We see the class members are variables and methods. Variables are defined as elements of the page, while methods are implemented as interactions with those elements. The test scripts reuse a page object when it needs to interact with a particular page. Everything starts by creating a base and the correct page object. Here's the catch. There is more than one way for designing our page object model. So people will do things a little different. Why is the page object model important? The page object model is important because it helps with the draw principle. Draw stands for don't repeat yourself. This principle provide support to us by not repeating the same code. We store each field and method in an object repository. The object repository is designed to help reduce overhead for our test by storing properties and actions in one location. If your test and you notice that you're writing your test and you have the same code over and over, then that code is a candidate for the draw principle. The draw principle falls under the OOPS concept, which is an acronym for Object Oriented Programming. Object Oriented Programming is a foundation for page object model. We have the opportunity to use all four OOPS concepts with page object model. The four OOPS concepts are encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, and abstraction. For example, encapsulation hides the details from our test script. Inheritance allows us to extend a class, and polymorphism can be used to override a method. And abstraction prevents us from creating an object from the abstract class. If you want to, you can brush up on your knowledge of the OOPS concepts by watching my playlist, which include videos 108 through 121. The benefits of a page object model includes code re re reusability and code readability and code maintainability. Let me say that again because I kind of messed up. The benefits of a page object model is code reusability 
and code maintainability. Plus, it includes code maintainability. Code reusability is when we reuse code in multiple locations in our program. That prevents us from rewriting the same code. Code readability means the code is easy to follow. It's easy to follow because the names are descriptive and there are less lines of code. Code maintainability means it will take less time to make a change to our code. Therefore, we can expect to revisit the code again in the future. That's it for introduction to page object model. Next, I'm going to show you how I create a page object model, and I'll see you in the next video. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And Test NG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.